Greetings, everyone. It is that magical time. It is time for Dragons with Dash. Dash, how are you? You're away at school now. What is the message from the Dragons this week, maybe to help people as they go back to that first week of school? Um, thank you, first of all, for uh, having me here today. <laughs> I think the message of the week is ultimately that we spend a lot of time in our lives trying to look at where we are and sort of um, blame the blame the circumstance, blame sort of if, if you were to put life, uh, to, to make a very simple analogy, as a continuous ocean where everyone is trying to sail a ship in the same direction, you know, and everyone, everyone has different ships. Everyone is a, in a different place on their journey of trying to get to this place. Oftentimes we, we fall into this habit and this pattern of, of blaming the ship for not being good enough, of, of blaming ultimately ourselves for not being good enough and carrying ourselves down this journey to ultimately at the end, which is self-actualization and, and where we want to be. And I think what, um, what the message of this week is, is don't, don't blame the ship, keep putting up the sail every day because Oftentimes, you know, we, we might feel that our sail is full of holes, that, you know, it's never going to catch any wind, that we're not going to make any progress, that we're going to continue to stay where we are. But it's only through taking action, through simplifying what it is that we want and trying to do the same thing day after day, that we have a chance to capture that wind and to keep going forward. So you might be in a place right now where you feel that nothing is going right for you. You might feel that, you know, the whole the whole earth is sitting still as it will you you're trapped in some repeating pattern and, when, and what the what the dragons really want you to know and what they want you to understand is that that's okay it's okay to feel that way we often all do but they want you to wake up tomorrow and they want you to take one action that's going to get you closer to what it could be it could be getting up out of bed 30 minutes earlier it could be going to bed 30 minutes earlier it could be something simple that you know you have to do it's going to get you closer to where you want to be and they just want you to go ahead and do that thing and they want you to know that it might be hard to take action tomorrow but if you do it every day just one simple thing it's eventually going to become habit and it's going to become easy and if you keep doing that over and over again throughout your life if you keep putting up that sail every day on your ship you're going to be far closer to that end goal, to that point of self-actualization than you would be if you hadn't tried. Yeah, that is the perfect dragon message because I was getting, keep it simple. You know, we, we often as humans really get stuck in our head we, and we miss what's happening in our hearts. And dragons are all like, don't bypass the heart, be in your heart be with your feelings, but also keep it simple. And in a lot of cases, you know, there's a solution for a situation before you and it is really simple and it's right there. And sometimes we miss it because we're thinking it has to be more complicated. It has to be uh, more convoluted, they're saying. So they're saying, if you keep it simple, um, and I love how you're talking about, you know, starting with one simple habit. They're really all about really taking that one step and keep, keeping it simple. Um, I also have this really beautiful, I don't know if you can see her, crystal dragon with us for the start um, of the first week of school. If you are watching this um, as right after we post it. Um, to really honor your sensitivity. So, you know, you may be tired and you may be feeling a little unbalanced or ungrounded because you're going through that change of getting back into a new schedule. So be really, really good to yourself, she's saying. And if you keep it simple, the solutions are there, especially if there's sort of something you've been pondering. She's saying you may have missed it. You may want to circle back and see what is right before me. Um, what are the obvious things right before me um, and really bring it back to your heart. So I'm loving, loving the beautiful frequencies of crystal dragon, placing a beautiful crystal around you, around everyone as they go back to school, whether you're a student or parent, because it's tiring as a parent too. We want the best for our kids, of course. So really taking a look at how you're treating yourself and also maybe taking that step of giving yourself some an extra kindness, they're saying. So taking that step, maybe being extra kind to yourself and asking that question, how can I be kind and loving to myself today? How can I let go of that blame? 
that self blame and blame for others that you're talking about that's really impacting the state of your ship. I love I love that metaphor. I love anything with ocean, of course. But that's the message that I'm getting. So I hope you can tune into crystal dragon energy. Lots of fairy energy too. So there's a lot of magic in September as we move through September and really get settled into those new routines and they're saying improved routines. So be open to your simple heart-centered routine. Awesome. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. Crystal dragon hugs. Thank <laughs> you.